There must be a better way. There is too much isolation, disengagement, disempowerment. Whether we're talking about our communities, our companies, and our countries, we must find a better way. There's too many wall builders, there's too many bosses that think they need to be in charge. They're accountable, they're the leader, but what about us? How many of you have felt, do I really matter in this community, in this company, and in this country? We've got to change this attitude of fear and wall building. Let's be part of the change. Let's be part of that change. We've got to unlock ourselves. And we need to unlock the possible. What I know is I don't know. What my experience in my 40-year career is, together we come up with solutions that are far grander and far more in service than we can alone. So I decided four years ago to write Breakthrough to Yes. I decided it's time. I want to be part of the solution. And then, like most speakers, like most authors, it's like, oh, I better sit down. <laughs> I can't do this. I'm not good enough. What happens when they realize that I'm a fraud? I don't have the answers. What makes me think I can be part of the solution? Dave, what were you thinking? And then you say to yourself, and I hope you say this to yourselves, and what if I don't? Then I'm part of the problem. If I don't stand up, speak up, write, and connect, then I'm feeding those wall builders, those separators, those rock stars who deny us and we from our collective intelligence. What I want to share with you is when you get a chance at the back, take a look at the cover of my book. Nice clean, simple, and there's a second meaning in there. There are four letters on this book, on this title, that are shaded. E, G, O, S. Egos are the shadow of collaboration. They are the shadow. I don't have to be good enough. We are good enough. I don't have to be right. When organizations come to me and ask if we can work together, now my first question is, how comfortable are you when you don't know the outcome that's going to come from this? Do you get it? It can't be about my solution and manipulating you to adopt and engage and support me. It must be the we. Now, this is a typical story of uh, book writers, especially. Something wicked this way comes. I've got a solution. I've got an idea that's worth sharing, like a TED Talk. I know that there will be log jams along the way. But when I get my book out there and it's published, everybody's going to love it. And I'm going to buy that 2017 Rolls Royce. <laughs> it's just that easy. Right? It's not that easy. I think we realize that your brand is your book, and your book is your work, and your work is actually in service of your ideal clients and the communities and organizations that you want to work with. I've been told that on an average day, over 5,000 books are published. On an average day, over 5,000 books are published. Last week, I was talking to my uh, radio producer in Phoenix, and she said, it's even worse than that. In America, the average American, American reads one book every year. Whew. Well, OK, then. That kind of 
This is going to take a little more than just buying that Rolls Royce. This is, we're going to have to build a brand. We're going to have to be consistent. We're going to have to be our book. That's my idea for this morning, for today, for my life from here on. Be your book to energize your sales. You must be it. You are married to your book. Your book is in your heart and the middle of your offering to the world. So what's your sales strategy? Here's mine. I'm a pretty clever guy, but I'm not smart. I'm smart together. And when I have a radio show on Voice America, and I've got a number of podcasts on various uh, groups, I ask our friend Chuck Rose, Chuck, will you help me out? I love music. Chuck beautifully writes Win or Walk Away. It's a fantastic song. We've collaborated on that. I'm also aware four years ago when I started writing Breakthrough to Yes that in fact there was almost no books on collaboration four years ago. Even more surprising is of those books on collaboration, none of them were collaborative books. <laughs> huh? So by being good enough, by inviting a hundred experts on collaboration from five nations into my book, by inviting 46 guests to my various podcasts, I'm good enough because we're good enough. We're balanced, we're round, we're, we provide so many different perspectives. And, here's the big and, I have 146 plus people in five plus nations that are my salespeople. They are out there, they're in my book, they're inviting me to speak to their clubs, they're inviting me to share their blogs, they're inviting me to share their wisdom because I share my book, my podcast, my stage. Isn't that beautiful? Think of that. You don't have to be brilliant. You have to be courageous and committed and creative. Energize your book through collaboration, no matter what your book is about. You know, the uh, picture on the slide I'm showing is a picture of my grandson, Quinn, and my granddaughter, Sarah. They're the reason. So if I want to be part of the solution, if I want the world, our nation, our city, our community, our family to be better and healthier, I want to give them some resources to do that. And I want them to have far more skills than I do, far more skills in the future. The future matters. Collaboration matters. Collective wisdom actually brings us all in, all demographics, all people. It's not about me. It's actually not about the book. Be your book. Encourage your audience to be your book. So be in integrity. First time books usually don't do very well. Be in integrity. Keep at it. Keep at it. As Faith said, in the last 90 days since publication, I've had 39 speaking events. Most of those I created myself. It's been Alberta, British Columbia, California, and France. I've been invited back to Montpellier, France in October 2017 to speak about collaboration on the condition that I speak in French. <laughs> so I've got some work to do. <laughs> so look at these amazing books. Look amongst you. How many in this audience have actually published a book? Please put up your hand. Look around. Amazing people. Amazing intelligence. When I say be the book, Think about how you will be your book. What is your anukshuk, your touchstone, your reason for why? Be that book. And what I offer is since first books aren't necessarily the, the bestseller, and I'm working hard on making mine a real bestseller, not just a one-hour bestseller, I'm rolling out a series of books. So to me, most of us have little time so after my first book, as people start to understand who David Savage is, I'm going to start publishing a series of 50-page books. 
And my invitation is to everybody that either has a book out there or is planning to write a book, please collaborate with me. Wouldn't it be cool if we had a whole series of CAPS, 50-page books, centered on how we work together from your perspective? Thank you. That, isn't that a wonderful invitation? And then I use your network, and I energize my sales. We energize. You get the picture. This, this is like such a cool, loving way to energize your sales. So here's a couple of stories. It's not about Dave. It's actually not about the book. It's about resolving and changing the culture, unlocking the possible within a culture of collaboration. Collaboration is the most misunderstood word. We use it every day, we hear it every day, we read it every day. But what is it? I say it's a, the way we relate to each other. It's not a meeting. It's not a strategy. It's how we are in relationship to, to one another. One of the groups that I'm very fond of and have volunteered for for years is the Heart and Stroke Foundation. Uh, a number of the executives and national and provincial board members for the Heart and Stroke Foundation are in my book and I've interviewed on my podcasts. Those folks I can turn to and say, isn't that cool? If you saw Rod McKay, the chair of the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Canada, leadership is difficult. Leadership that relies on collaboration is very difficult. Let's collaborate. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. It's very difficult, and it's, it's the way we need to change our world, to break down those walls. We will do this now. So I talked to um, uh, Rod. I talked to Donna Hastings, the CEO of the uh, Alberta and Inuit Northwest Territories. I talked to Art Korpach, all brilliant people who were in my book on my podcast. And I say, how can you help me energize my book sales? And they say, you help us first. So I'm doing collaborative assessments on the Heart and Stroke Foundation locally and nationally. Uh, Art Korpach also happens to be the chair of the Institute of Corporate Directors in Calgary chapter. Uh, about a month, two months ago, he uh, invited me. He said, yeah, I can help you, Dave. We've got 100 ICD members at the Petroleum Club and we're trying to figure out how to help not-for-profits in Western Canada. Their, their uh, resources are ever tight, their uh, challenges are ever greater, and yet the need for the not-for-profits is more than ever. So how do we solve that? Well, guess what? At the end of the session, everybody, 100 people said, let's figure out actually how to collaborate. Ta-da, here's Dave. So 15 of those uh, corporate directors have now got my, my book, Breakthrough to Yes, and they are my champions. We are breaking through. What I, what I will say is I'll talk about uh, what Faith mentioned earlier. The collaborative spirit in Vernon, British Columbia is wonderful. My friend Scott Manjack uh, offered. He said, uh, Dave, can you come help us? And I said, can you help me sell my brand? And let's weave this in together. He put together three workshops in one day. That turned into 20 advocates. That turned into a request, Dave, come back in September. We want to do more work. So here's my five takeaways. Now, be your brand, be consistent, be in integrity. Welcome others. Be clear on your why. This is your touchstone forever. Whether it's your grandchildren, your children, or the future, what kind of world do you want to be part of? Your book is your footprint. Create a collaborative team. Use the technique I've shared with you. Create a global advanced team for your book, for your wisdom, for your speaking, for your sales. Create timely content for media. Media is under huge scarcity right now. They're looking for experts that will provide them predictively great, credible content. Become known as the expert. So don't, don't say, here's my book, and then walk away from it. The next 40 years, you are your book. Be your book. 
I welcome this community, I welcome our world to change the strategy, habits, and behaviors on how we are in collaboration. Together we are better. Thank you very much.